my name is Andreas Hoffman. I'm a tour guide here in the Allied Museum and I would like to present another of my favorite objects in this exhibition, which is the spy tunnel just behind me. You see 12 meters of a tunnel used in the time of Cold War as a cooperation of the British Secret Service SIS and the American Secret Service CIA. The idea was to collect information about the Soviet military in East Berlin and they had the information, the Americans and the British, that just next to the American sector there were telephone cables used by Soviet military in East Berlin to Moscow and they wanted to get access to these telephone cables so they started a tunnel from the American sector just below the sector border actually altogether 450 meters long and arrived with this tunnel in East Berlin and they got access to these telephone cables and in the end they could tap 500,000 telephone calls and information on tapes of altogether 50,000 tapes full of information. But some years later in 1961 there was a big surprise because the Americans found out actually that they, before they had even started to build this tunnel that there was a spy, a double agent, master spy George Blake who had betrayed this tunnel to Soviet Union. So in the time of planning this tunnel he had already told the Soviet Secret Service KGB about this tunnel. So the KGB knew from the beginning from this tunnel, from this Operation Gold, and but to protect their master spy they actually in the end discovered this tunnel just after 11 months. So the East German state security and the East German actually Soviet military in East Berlin, they had no clue about this tunnel. So that's why it was so successful, but on the other side, this double agent plague was actually the source they knew from the beginning about this tunnel. The plague himself was arrested in 1961 by another double agent, betrayed by another double agent, and he went to prison for 42 years, but he could escape from the British prison after five years and fled in a camper van to East Berlin, and then fled from East Berlin to Moscow, where he's still living today getting a pension actually there, but in this time of Cold War you can see to have all this effort building this tunnel, all these years of planning to build it below the sector border and in the end there was just one spy enough to get actually to betray this tunnel to the east and you see how important spies were and why Berlin was called capital of spies in this time of Cold War.